Good morning, church. I wanted to make you a little aware of some of the things that we'll be doing as we come back into our sanctuary. We've done such a great job in the WCC uh, with masks and temperature checks and spacing ourselves out, uh, socially distanced, that many people in our church who are in the medical profession say it's the safest place in Sedgwick County. So I'm going to point out a couple of things in the sanctuary that you might see a little differently and a couple of things that just might change slightly, just so that you're aware of it. First, as you enter, just as before we left from COVID, uh, we still have the offering at the back so that that's a safe way to give your offering. And as we enter, you should be ha being greeted by an usher and seated so that we can keep adequately spaced in our sanctuary. Uh, if not, we ask in the second service, if you're coming in without ushers, we ask that you adequately socially distance yourself. As you come in, you're going to notice that we have no hymnals or attendance pads because those would carry germs uh, and would not be very clean. So we want to keep those away for a little bit longer. Uh, we will be still taking roll. We are asking you to please call ahead if you can. Let Amy know you're coming just so that we can help keep track of who's coming for roll purposes as well as contact tracing if need be. As you come in, you'll be escorted to a place to sit. And in these areas that are marked with a red X, these are seated areas that you would not sit in. We have spaced the seating areas out to where that you're not directly in front of someone. So as you can see, every other pew here has a red X, but the one in the middle does not. But on the other side, there is a red X. So we're kind of staggered with our seating. That way, everyone is safe. A couple of other things that you'll notice as we come up. We do have the altar prepared for our back to school um, service and blessing of the backpacks. We probably will not be bringing back the children up front for a while for um, just safety reasons. We'll get a couple of weeks of school under the belt and make sure everything goes well. We still want to keep adequately spaced for them. You'll also see that the praise band is set up well and the choir chairs are much wider the choir right now will probably not join in for a little while live we're going to do, be doing some taped performances when we start rehearsing and the praise band will still be singing in second service but we're not going to be having any sing-alongs for a while we're going to go a couple of weeks without having sing-alongs we'll add them back in slowly once again just trying to make sure that everything is safe we have a wonderful sanctuary here with our beautiful stained glass, and we can't wait to fill all these wonderful pews. We ask that you still wear masks at all times and that you adequately space yourself out when entering and exiting. We do need to exit fairly quickly because we do need to clean this in between services. So we need to be able to spray it down with some disinfectant before our second service will begin. The great news is it doesn't matter whether we're in the WCC, whether we're still watching on live streaming from our homes or we're here in this beautiful sanctuary, wherever our hearts are, that's where worship will be. We look forward to seeing you this Sunday here at First United Methodist Church Valley Center.